Hello to you guys on YouTube. Welcome back to In My Shed on BC. This is just a bit of a cryptic look at complaints I get about welding spatter. It's always the welding wire or that bloody torch you sold me. But this is a collection over the last couple of months in repairs we've had to do. Now this is, in my opinion, the biggest cause of spatter in automatic wire welding. And to verify it, just try varying your voltage two volts either side of your optimum and leaving the wire speed where it is and you find you immediately get out of parameters well with connections like these your voltages are going to be varying more than two volts either side but it all comes down to the operator how you can leave your equipment get to this state of hygiene on bucket if they know and even the lead on the bottom right hand side where the lead was bad and the wire just clamped to the job but come on get serious you're doing this for a bloody profession and to blame the product I sell when this is what you present for repairs later on I just step sideways and say it's all in your bag but it is a serious problem very similar to just throwing your weldment on top of a bench covered in spatter and grinding dust and crap and expect to get a good bloody connection and wonder why the arc doesn't start up well so you keep your earth clamps clean if you see any damage or any overheating fix the problem don't let it bloody die like this, it's a disgrace really. All for now, please like and subscribe. See you later.